NBA coming up. Great to have you. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Levine and Williams up in the forward positions. White is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Smith in at the pivot, manning the middle. And for Brooklyn, down on the block, it's Johnson with Claxton. Thomas is out there with MP. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. And here's MP for three. Rebound by the Bulls. This game against Brooklyn here, it's their first look at the Nets. And they dropped the season series to these guys a year ago. Not their proudest moment. Well, Shams, obviously the big three in Brooklyn did not work out. But on the bright side, what a return they got for Kevin Durant. It was one of the biggest packages in NBA history. They got four first-round picks, a bunch of other pick swaps. And listen, losing Kevin Durant as well as Kyrie Irving, that definitely hurt the Nets. But their front office is very happy with the haul that they were able to get. And they can really build. And it's going to be fascinating, I think, Shams, to watch them build. The first-time head coach and Jordy Fernandez, they know that they're building for the long haul and the long term. It's not just about one season in Brooklyn. They're trying to compete and have sustainable success. Here's Giddy after the made shot from MP. Here's Williams. Can't cash in from close range. Thomas passes to MP. Here's Claxton. Kicks it out to MP. Outside Thomas. Back to MP. Down low. Claxton finds Thomas. Just two to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Last outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to Orlando. Here's White. It's hauled in by Claxton. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. MP kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Johnson. Nets passing it around. Thomas gets a wide open look. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feed. In constant motion off ball, Thomas finds a soft spot and trust the ball will find him back. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Giddy. Nobody near Williams. Bangs home the trifecta. I mean, a 6'8 playmaker, Giddy is a point forward, and he piles up the assists. We have all these great foreign players. Uh, maybe three of the top five players in the NBA are all foreign players, right? And so much was made of Anthony Edwards. Here's a 22-year-old American player who has maybe the charisma, the game, the everything we could package. It could be our next great player. Is there ever talk around the league about why are European players being so dominant? Where are the great young American players to compete against this great influx of international players? The grassroots programs, you have to look at what happens abroad and in the States. You have to give a lot of credit to the way that they develop players over in Europe, in any of those regions, they do a great job. And those players are hungry, they're driven, they're passionate. They're trying to get here to the States and play basketball at the highest level in the NBA. And you see at the amateur level, there can be a lot of fluidity, there can be a lot of flux. And players are given so much so soon in America. So to be able to have that chip on your shoulder, to have the passion and to exude the confidence that Anthony Edwards has, the younger generation of players definitely have someone in Anthony Edwards to look up to. And love the commitment from White. Took the bump, went up strong, and rewarded with two points. MP dishes to Bogdanovich. Back to MP. It's Thomas on the wing. Bogdanovich passes to MP. Shot clock at five. Johnson kicks to Bogdanovich. Oh, good on the three. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Chicago. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. 
Yeah, nowhere near at their best uh, throughout the course of that game. A scrappy performance, but in the end, just not enough. You know when things aren't going your way, it's tough to stick it out. So I applaud them for hanging in there. Thomas, no good. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. And the dunk by Smith. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. And as the salary cap looks set to rise significantly, Shams, any major effects that you can anticipate? It won't be like the year the Warriors signed KD. They're going to smooth the cap's numbers, and it's not going to spike quite the same. But these numbers will continue to get eye-popping when you think about player salary, and you have to keep in mind luxury tax and the new second apron that came into play with the collective bargaining agreement, and that will play a part in how teams build, not putting yourself in a restrictive position to continue to build winning organizations. A lot of moving parts to contend with, but boy, a lot on the horizon. So it's Chicago now, after the basket by Brooklyn. MP with it. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Bogdanovich, no luck. Bulls have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Oh, wow. yes! Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And everyone loves running, especially a guy like Giddy. And that's trail by four. Thomas kicks to MP. Pass to Claxton. MP outside. Thomas finds MP. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket of the night. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Giddy the pass to Levine. MP against White. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Thomas vicious to MP. Johnson in the corner. And the three off target. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And in last year's playoff, Shams, we did see a lot of players injured and unable to play. What are some of the solutions that may be being talked about that you hear about? People certainly ask if this is a result of the 65-game rule. Is it the more physical play? Is it the consequences of the regular season? The league is going to take a wait-and-see approach to determine if this is an issue they have to fix. But they do love the results of what this has brought as far as player availability moving forward. Yeah, they do seem sold on that 65 number, don't they? 100%. And at the end of the day, some of these injuries are flukish. There's a lot of, obviously, lower body injuries, and you can't measure that. I think the league is going to want to see more data over the next five to ten years to really determine, does this rule impact the game and impact injuries? So for the Nets, Simmons checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Bogdanovich. And Hayes subbed in for Cameron Thomas. Chicago also making some changes. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Patrick Williams. Horton Zucker comes in for Josh Giddy. And it's Dosumu in for White. A shot's good from Hayes. Here's Dosumu. Knocks it loose. MP passes to Hayes. Count it. And now it's just a four-point Chicago lead. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And with an update from the sideline. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Was able to talk with Jordy Fernandez for a minute. I asked him what plan he had, if any, for Zach Levine. He said, my focus is making sure he doesn't get any easy shots. We have to contest every attempt. It's about mitigating the damage, not preventing it. So it looks like he'll settle for just making Levine work as hard as possible. 
Guys? Thanks, David. The Bulls leading by four. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Taking a look here at numbers for Zach Levine. Good season for him last year. He averaged about 19 points a game last year. Five rebounds and four assists. And you look at his score, and he was number one on the team last season. His ability to play through contact, his exceptional concentration, that's what makes him a great finisher. Here's Hayes. Got a piece of it. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Chicago with the ball. Late June, NBA free agency is such a busy time for you, Shams. Uh, during the start of that hectic period, walk us through your game. What's your life like? I've asked you this before in previous times you've been out here with us, but do you get any sleep? <laughs> I'm up 24-7 because the great part about free agency, Kevin, is you never know when you might get that call, you might get that text, when a player has committed, when a player has decided to go to a specific NBA team. That is what I live for. That's what I know the fans live for, and I'm one of those fans, so I want to make sure I know as well and I'm able to inform in an appropriate, timely, responsible, and fair way, and accurately. So for me, uh, there's not much wiggle room when it comes to sleep. I try to make up for it later. But NBA free agency, trade deadline, draft, those are time periods when I know I have to be on. I might be getting a call now, Kevin, actually. Well, wait, I was just going to ask you. We're doing this game. I'm looking at your phone. It's lighting up. You're looking down. You're looking at the game. You're talking to me. You're doing two things at once. I have to be multitasking <laughs> at all times, Kevin. You know that. Oh, it's the best. Here's Hayes. The Bulls getting their last shot to go. Six to shoot. Another shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, just outsmarting the coverage. Pretty savvy pump fake by Simmons. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps? For... The Bulls have shot 80% from the lines tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. That free throw good from Giddy. And that's a spot of the floor Giddy wants to improve. It certainly puts in the work there to get better. So for Chicago right now, they got Patrick Williams. Torrey Craig is out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Josh Giddy, And it's White in at the point guard. The Bulls leading by 11. Passes to White. And at the top of the key, Williams. Back to White. The shot from the low post is good. White's got 11 points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And the That's basket good. is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the That's line. Good. Hit. Hit it's going to be Claxton shooting. It goes on Kobe White. Hey, Shams, you're uh, always on the pulse of those league-changing trades. We certainly saw some impactful ones last season. Across the board, the Pacers, the Mavericks, they made deep runs, and they did so on the back of some big trade deadline moves. Those are transformations that excite all of us to witness, even New York getting OG Ananobi at the trade deadline. This is a league that's built on capitalizing at the moment and striking when the iron's hot, and we saw multiple teams do that this last season. Yeah, that trade deadline was phenomenal for those teams you mentioned. Really impactful. MP against White. MP passes to Watford. Stolen by Levine. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. A putback. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bogdanovich dishes to MP. Bogdanovich passes to MP. Back to Bogdanovich. Now Watford. He had 13 points in the win against Memphis. Here's Thomas. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got assist number seven for him tonight. 
And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. And the foul on Patrick Williams. That's his first foul. Nets trail by 12. Outside Thomas. Back to MP. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Kobe White. The Nets shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. Bulls leading by 11. On the wing, Giddy. Thomas covering. Levine kicks to Craig. A rebound by the Nets. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. And you talk to coaches around the league, and they'll tell you sometimes the ball just goes in. It's as simple as that. And, Shams, nothing gets a workout like your phone. We're here. We're talking NBA. We're watching this game. we got this great group here courtside. You've got two phones working, and I'm sure there's a third hidden in your back. Can you estimate how many texts do you send and receive a day? Is there even a number we can put with that? Kevin, how many texts do you get a day related to <laughs> NBA info? You're coming at me. You know the job is. It's... It's hundreds of messages flooding my phone on a daily basis. And the screen time, usually in busy seasons, tends to be closer to 18 to 20 hours. But this is what we sign up for. This is what we love to inform the audience. Oh, and I know you love every second of it. And that one falls for White. The athleticism and blinding speed White possesses is impressive. This guy plays with a lot of moxie. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. MP passes to Watford. Thomas kicks to MP. Nets passing it around. Claxton finds MP. Offline with his three. The Bulls leading by 11. To the paint. Here's White. And White with the stuff. And right now, White red hot. Just everything he puts up seems to go in. Bogdanovich passes to MP. Back to Bogdanovich. Up and in on the layup. Bogdanovich has got 11. And Bogdanovich, a talented scorer, likes getting involved down low. Giddy kicks to Levine. The kick out to Williams. And that comes off the assist by Levine. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. And they've done a great job knocking down those long-range shots here in the second, shooting just over 40% from downtown. And the league continuing, Shams, to tweak the rules around replay review. But uh, would you set a time limit to maybe tweak it a little bit? Have to, right? Especially some of these games and the way they're ending. It's something to try if you can't find a cause to really overturn in a minute or two. Let's keep this game moving. I think we all love a free Oh, my wow. goodness! What a oh play! My. And Tom is getting out on the break. He just smells points. Chicago leading by nine. Here's White. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The Bulls have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight.
And that one falls for White. Aaron Sharp, he's checked in for the Nets. And a change for the Bulls. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. And both free throws, good for White. And just doing a much better job of getting to the line this quarter than he did in the first. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Bulls coach Billy Donovan keeps perspective. He says, I used to come back from a tough road loss, go straight to the office and pull an all-nighter, trying to figure out what went wrong. My highs were too high and my lows were too low. You have to realize so much of it is just luck. The breaks of life. Kevin? That's right, D.A. We respect Billy Donovan as much as any coach in the NBA. Uh, but a good outlook there, you're right. Hey, thank you. MP passes to Claxton. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Giddy finds White. Into the lane. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. White's got 12 points now in the quarter. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Kicks it out to MP. Thomas against Giddy. Thomas gets the bucket. Getting comfortable in the second quarter. His efficiency is finally on the rise. White against MP. Here's Giddy. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They've upped their percentage to around 90 from the line today. Great job this quarter. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. They converted more than four out of every five free throw attempts last year. So just solid at the line. First free throw is good. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons comes in for MP. Chicago also making some changes. Horton Tucker's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Carter in for Kobe White. Kobe White, he's been feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Bulls. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting. And don't go away. We'll be right back. We've played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. You know, you have to like what we're seeing from Kobe White. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. Down on the block, it's Johnson with Claxton. MP is out there with Thomas. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. And that's the group for Jordy Fernandez as we begin the second half. Here's Johnson. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. Johnson's got nine. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. That's a hand on it. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He has six. And that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Pass to MP. Johnson right side. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Levine. They get it back. That shot, no good. Bulls leading by 11. 
Here's Giddy. 11 points in the game. Outside, White. A three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. MP inside. White on. And it's sent back by White. A rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And the Bulls tack on two more. And an excellent start to the second half. Only missed one shot in their first five. Nets trail by 16. MP kicks to Johnson. Looking to end the run, and it's good on the way in. Johnson's got 11 points. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. And it's. Six five white more than capable athletically, like the aggressiveness there. MP passes to Bogdanovich. Nets passing it around. A three from MP. Rebound by the Bulls. Smith's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. 16 point lead, the largest margin in the game. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that board. White against MP. The shot. It's all in by the Bulls. Levine's got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's White missing. The Nets have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Bogdanovich finds MP. And it's sent back by White. And I love seeing White use that athleticism on defense. Great hustle to swat that shot. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Let's take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Fifth best, Nick Claxton. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. The pass to Levine. Fires from deep. And the Bulls with another miss. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Johnson. Bucket is good. As a player, a rough first half, ooh, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. Oh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. And you can't ignore their passing. All game long, they've done a great job of just delivering the ball in rhythm right where it needs to be. And White kicks to Smith. That's good on the jump shot. Smith's got eight points. And a solid playmaker. White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. MP passes to Claxton. Over Smith. Claxton with the bucket. He's got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Bulls leading by 13. White finds Giddy. 
And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That is his first foul of the game. And so here is Chicago. Outside Williams. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Bogdanovich passes to MP. Here's Claxton. Here's Thomas. Again, the Nets for two. Oh, Cam Thomas is a very comfortable mid-range shooter. And stolen by MP. Pass to Thomas. To the inside. And stolen by White. Levine wide open. And again, Chicago. No good. He hasn't had his best game, but they've gotten enough production elsewhere, so it hasn't really mattered. A fader. Claxton, no good. The Bulls leading by 11. Passes it to Giddy. The big dunk at the end of the break. And if he sniffs the rim, he's attacking. Giddy not messing around when he gets in close like that. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Williams. Back to Johnson. Good in the assist goes to MP. Johnson's got 16 points. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. It's White on the wing. Smith trying to break loose. White, good. And the Bulls lead by 13. The nasty handles of White, just so gifted at putting on a show with moves like that. Claxton the pass to MP. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. That's now eight points for MP. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place. The Bulls leading by 10. On the court for Chicago to start the fourth. Josh Giddy is out there with Kobe White. Then it's Zach Levine. Then it's Torrey Craig. And it's Williams at the foul. MP outside. Watford passes to MP for three. Craig pulls it in. Craig's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And stolen by MP. Inside. Here's Thomas. And then Thomas with the jam. Now be careful because he is a rhythm scorer. Thomas has been locked and loaded all night with a full clip. It's White on the wing. Giddy against Thomas. Williams for three. That's good. And so Giddy with the assist. Uh, the man has no heart. And, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. Well, he's not the tallest guy on the roster, but man, can he board or what? Brooklyn with the rebound. Although they're down big right now, Greg, still plenty of time left in this one. At this point, they got to take it one possession at a time. Watford passes to MP. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Monday, they'll head home to take on the Utah Jams. And then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. And you know for that matchup with Atlanta. Seems like the season's flying by as that's already their 10th contest of the year. Pecking order in the league starting to take shape. Bogdanovich is checked in for Brooklyn. And a change for the Bulls. Smith has checked in. MP with it. Now Smith defending. MP kicks to Johnson. Back to MP. From 10 feet out. And he overshot that one, missing. 
nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. Nets trail by 14. Bogdanovich dishes to MP. Pass to Johnson. Over Williams. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And it's Williams with the ball for the Bulls. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Here's White. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. The pass to Thomas. And he drives in. A slam dunk by Thomas. Sudden on the drive. Thomas just takes off. And Chicago has possession. At one point, they led by 16. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. That in the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. He reminded his team, we're up. All the pressure is on them. Let's just keep playing our game. Makes sense because they've got a nice lead late in this game. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. A moment for an injury report. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge for an update on Dayron Sharp. David? Hey, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Nets was able to update me on the situation. And, guys, he told me that it appears to be a pinched nerve in his back. Well, you hate suffering injuries any time of the year, but it's especially impactful this early on. Tough break. Back to you guys. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sidelines. And you just hate to see any injury, but potentially a serious one like this breaks your heart. Giddy, making the defenders look like they're on ice. MP deciding where to go with it. Here's Bogdanovich. Good, and the assist goes to MP. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's White on the wing, Giddy. He had a nice open look right there. And if you allow Giddy to get in rhythm, he is more than capable of knocking it down. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Back to MP. He kicks to Johnson. Five to shoot. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. Here's MP. No good on that one. White with the defensive effort. On the wing, Giddy. Thomas covering. Back to Giddy. the Bulls tack on two more and this is why many are excited about Giddy's future showing how dangerous he can be on offense and B passes to Thomas another possession another assist that makes 15 assists he's been one step ahead of the defense all game long outside white pass to Giddy there's the triple Rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds in this game. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Ah, yet another miscalculation. They are really their own worst enemy right now. It's why they find themselves way behind. MP against one. Passes it to Giddy. It's hauled in by Thomas. Nets trail by 12. MP outside. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Rebound by the Bulls. Williams has got four rebounds now tonight. 
And the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. MP against White. There's the dish to Williams. Shot clock at six. They get a hand on it. MP against White. Here's Thomas. And another assist for him. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. White against MP. White dishes to Levine. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Claxton. Outside, White. From 10 feet out. And the rejection by Claxton. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Back to MP. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Josh Giddy. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And Brooklyn making a change here. Finney Smith's checked in. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here's Williams. Giddy kicks to Williams. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. White inside. Covered by MP. Good defense by Claxton. Nets trail by 10. And Finney Smith gets it to go. Finney Smith's got his first two points of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. That one falls. Yeah, attacking the interior is something White does well. He's crafty, and he makes good adjustments against the defense. Here's Thomas. It's rebounded by Giddy. Giddy's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's White, and White with the stuff. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher. Pass to Claxton. MP with it. He's picked up by White. Five on the clock. MP passes to Bogdanovich. And a miss there on the triple. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. There's the pass to White. Tipped away. Claxton with the steal. And Thomas has it in the corner. Pass to Finney Smith. MP kicks to Finney Smith. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Ozumu, he's checked in for Chicago. Chicago leading by nine. On the wing, Levine. Back to White. Rebounded by the Nets. Outside Thomas. MP passes to Thomas. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And so White will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Outside Williams. Back to White. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. And 
the rejection by MP. To the inside, here's Claxton. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And he has to build on this because we can see where him being a ghost out there has gotten them so far. Levine looking around. No good from outside. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. I uh, love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down well time. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Kobe White. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. Bogdanovich dishes to MP. One thirty left in the fourth quarter. Back to Bogdanovich. Finney Smith finds MP. Just five on the clock. Thomas outside. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Inside. And White with the stuff. Showing off those playmaking skills. Levine keeps his head up. Makes the easy play. Nets trail by nine. Passes it to Finney Smith. MP against White. MP passes to Bogdanovich. And here is Thomas. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. MP kicks to Bogdanovich. Rebound by Smith. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Dosunmu, the pass to White. Count that bucket. White's got 45 points. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And the foul called on MP. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. So the Bulls win it. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it really was.